Hi to viewers and subscribe to 60 Dark King and today we are going to do another last watch of Death Battle. Today is Overwatch's Tracer vs TF2 Scout. So, the square mode is for Christmas purpose and as such is under protection of fair use. I'm going to skip rushing against whatsoever, especially the screw attack team, you guys rock. And before we start, I think Tracer wins. She's faster and has a bigger kit than Scout, relatively speaking. So, Without further ado, let's get to it. And play. To be the elite, you must surround yourself with the best of the best. <laughs> Whether you band together to save the world or just a worthless plot of land. And <laughs> every good team needs a good hit and runner. Like Tracer, the spunky agent of Overwatch. <laughs> And the uh, scout, I love the that Boston Boston now. Merc of Team Fortress. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, let's dance. 30 years from the present, mankind would become careless. Their machine servants rose up to fight for freedom, and so began a worldwide war. But one organization Yay. stood between world peace and total chaos. Overwatch. A team consisting of the world's greatest scientists, cyborgs, ninjas, cowboys, and pilots. Including Lena Oxton, codenamed Tracer. The youngest pilot ever inducted into Overwatch's flight program, Tracer is a free-spirited and fearless flying ace, always laughing in the face of danger. After helping to secure world peace, no big deal, right? She was <laughs> chosen to test a new prototype fighter jet, which could teleport. But Neat. then everything what? went horribly wrong. Instead of teleporting from point A to B, the fighter jet accidentally transported her through time. How do you accidentally create a time machine and put it in a fighter jet? A word to the wise, this is why you use animals before moving to human trials, like I always do. Anyway, Tracer <laughs> essentially existed as a ghost, uncontrollably phasing in and out of time. It looked like Overwatch's prized pilot would be decommissioned forever. Until her teammate, good friend, and gorilla scientist Winston made a special techno doohickey to keep her locked in the present. This chronal accelerator doesn't just anchor Tracer's time displacement, it also gives her two different ways to manipulate her own time flow. In a near instant, she can zoom approximately 23 feet away. This blink ability is not true teleportation, but instead speeds up time only for Tracer while propelling her in any given direction. And what? that's why she you can, can still get hit. She can jump herself forward in time, though from an outside view it looks like a blur. Got it. More than that, she can also reverse time for herself with the recall ability, which returns oh, Tracer's health belt. and spatial position back to where they were a few seconds before. While usually recall only turns back three seconds, in some instances she's gone as far back as 15. Well, thank god her weapons aren't as confusing as that shit. She carries <laughs> dual rapid fire pulse pistols as her primary pain dispensers. Each can empty 20 rounds in a single second. But what the pulse pistols have in power, they sorely lack in range and accuracy. Good thing she also has her pulse bombs. I'll put it this way, pretty much anybody she sticks this thing to has exactly two seconds to make their peace before going to the big capture point in the sky. Tracer <laughs> maximizes her unique weaponry with hit and run tactics, frustrating her enemies and making her very difficult to pin down. Yeah, in addition to blinking and recalling all over the place, she can jump 15 feet in the air. She's disarmed the highly trained and literally cold-blooded assassin Widowmaker, protected the Doomfist gauntlet from theft, and even once avoided a sniper shot from just 30 feet away. A sniper round usually travels almost 1800 miles per hour when fired, yeah. meaning she had to hadn't. react within one hundredth of a second. Unfortunately, that bullet found another target. Oh. Rest in peace, Robot Gandhi. Although Tracer is a slippery opponent on the battlefield, her chronal accelerator has its limits. If used too many times in succession, it can overheat, forcing Tracer to wait for a recharge. As her pistols are linked to the accelerator, this can sometimes cause them to overload as well. Plus, she's a pilot first, and not exactly a crack shot while on foot. If she doesn't get in close, she's not hitting anything but air. In spite of that, Tracer doesn't let any of it get her down. Wherever there's danger, she'll be there in a blink of an eye, with a cocky smile and a barrage of bullets. Wait, whatever happened to that time-warping fighter jet? I don't know. 
Actually, yeah, they never told us what the heck happened. Cavalry's here. In the year 1850, an extremely wealthy entrepreneur passed away, leaving his family land and business to his two sons. But like brothers are prone to do, they ended up fighting over each other's land right off the bat. This went yeah, on for decades, later. and then the brothers began recruiting mercenaries to literally wage war. <laughs> and that's when things really got out of control. Each hired gun oh, was yeah. defeated with their own Third generation currently. expertise. The sniper killed from afar, the engineer slaughtered with machines, and the heavy mowed people down with the biggest goddamn gun they'd ever seen. What kind of sandwiches were they feeding that guy? But one every man only relied on his cunning, his two Soviet feet, and there, a baseball my bat. Soviet this there. was the scout. Born in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1950s, the mercenary only known as Scout was the runt among seven older brothers. And all of them loved to wander the town looking for a good fight. Problem was, Scout's brothers were so big and tough, the fights would be over before he could get the chance to throw his own punches. Desperate to fight alongside his siblings, Scout realized that what he lacked in strength, he could make up for in speed. So he started running, and running, and running, until one day he was fast enough to not only keep up, but get ahead. Speed was his moniker, delivering pain was his game, and somewhere along the way he even learned how to jump off of thin air. Suddenly, the pathetic runt of the pack became the smart mouth terror of Boston. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. The only thing he was lacking was discipline, which he could get in the military, but that didn't sound like any fun, so he became a mercenary instead. Scout travels light, relying on a lovely shotgun and a baseball bat. Yes, a baseball bat. This guy is crazy enough to try and take out a rocket launcher wielding soldier with a pop fly. Which surprisingly works. Opponents yeah, are figure. stunned by the size of his balls, both literally and figuratively, <laughs> leaving them open for Scout to race up and finish them off with his guns. Well, he's got a pistol for pinpoint accuracy, Scout's favorite tools for killing are definitely shotguns. The scatter gun is a confusing miracle of shotgun engineering that can somehow hold six shots in a double barrel and is reloaded via divine intervention when you pull its lever. It's like the baby of a shotgun rifle and a revolver, but his most powerful nice. gun is the force of nature. A shotgun that only has two shots, but kicks so hard it can boost him even higher into the air. Regardless, hey, a well shot. shot can quickly take down almost any other mercenary. To make the force of nature even more ridiculous, he can strap a can of energy drink called Bonk Atomic Punch to it, which somehow gives him five more mid-air jumps. That's right, this guy flies with shotguns. But that's not all that Soda has to offer. With just a sip of Bonk, Ouch. Scout becomes totally invincible for eight seconds. But he can't use any of his guns at that time. Probably due to the shakes. Bonk contains several hundred times the daily recommended sugar intake. An adult Ish. male's suggested daily dosage is 25 grams, meaning Bonk contains, at minimum, 11 pounds of sugar. So much sugar, he can't take another drink for at least 20 seconds. And on top of that, it's radioactive. You of gotta have it is. one tough body to handle that stuff. Tough enough to survive the onslaught of three rockets at once, or to swing a baseball bat hard enough to send a guy flying 80 feet away. Possibly due to long-term bonk exposure, but <laughs> testing is still out. Scout can defeat foes as strong as the heavy in close quarters combat, run 17 miles an hour for long periods of time, and That's even it? kill a bear with nothing but a hot dog suit and Amelia Earhart skeleton. <laughs> I'm serious. He has a knack for avoiding bullets, missiles, and even tentacles from a bread monster, but at the cost of wearing little to no armor, making him a glass cannon. And true yeah. to his reckless, unrestrained personality, Scout often runs headfirst into battle regardless of the risk. But if you want to take down the Scout, you're going to have to catch him before he catches you. And that means you too, ladies. <laughs> That's right, Fancy Pants, myself. So why don't you take your little failure, roll it up sideways, and... Okay, crap, I gotta go. <laughs> Screw you, though. Oh, that was All right, fun. the combatants are set. Like I Let's said, I still think Tiffin wins. For all. She's faster but than the scout. I'm feeling pretty hungry. If only there were some sort of amazing service that sent a box full of food and recipes straight to my door. Oh, hey! I am not putting that out. So, let's see. Yes. 
smart. <laughs> All right, asshole, you're toast. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> of course, why not? Hello. <laughs> if I told you you had a great bod, would you uh, hold it against me? Um, that's nice. I was just leaving. Oh, sure thing. Come back anytime. Just uh, put that briefcase back before you go. Thanks. Sorry, love. Overwatch needs this more than you do. your esophagus after just one can, but, you know, it's also very handy when you feel like not getting blown up. That's not very fair. Listen, sweetheart. I never play fair. Fun's over. Not yet, mate. That cavalry there. and tough, but Tracer's unique arsenal and evasiveness pulled her ahead. Scout's greatest feat was potentially surviving an assault from three rockets at once. However, the rocket's point of impact is never directly shown, and since direct hits from rockets regularly obliterate far tougher mercs, it's unreasonable to assume this was any different. Scout could sprint up to 17 miles an hour for an extended period of time, which is slightly faster than the average human's 15 miles per hour. But Tracer's natural reactive instinct gave her the edge. For example, avoiding that sniper round from 30 feet away means she can react 25 times faster than the vast majority of other human beings. Which means Tracer could avoid almost anything Scout threw at her. Even when she couldn't, her recall ability not only helped her survive, but effectively ruined any of Scout's elements of surprise. This allowed Tracer plenty of opportunities to take him out. And just like that, Scout was gone without a trace. The winner is Tracer. Seriously. Next time. Okay, on who's Devil. next? Uh, oh. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben, yeah. I'm a showrunner, and I play Wiz. And I'm Nick, and I wrote this episode. And next time we've got Ken from Street Fighter, who? but who's he gonna be fighting? You can find out by sticking to our Someone social media. That's at Mortal Kombat again? on Twitter and official SA then on we'll Facebook. Get we'll be letting you know his opponent very soon. That's right, and if you want to see that episode of Death Battle early or want to see some other Rooster Teeth content before other people get to, you can become a first member by clicking the link in the description below. And of course, if you've got an idea for a Death Battle, let us know in the comments below. We do read them. Thanks, guys. Oh. 
Well, that was fun. Well, it's not play around it. It was a lot of fun seeing Tracer and the scout going at it. However, let's face it, Tracer was a lot faster, so in a battle of speed, that's pretty much how it counts. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Tiff Fortune is here around. Ta-ta!